got some Thomasvilles over here. Man, there's some big fruits on the Thomasville right there. Yep. And see the thing about growing them in a greenhouse is there's no pollinators in here. So they will not produce any fruit. <laughs> there's no fruit here because there's no pollinators. Everybody's always concerned about their pollinators. They won't produce fruit. So you're not seeing fruit in here. Yeah, I don't see any. Those darn pollinators. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, look at that. Let's see, ooh, look at the zest coming off of there. Let's see if I can get one open. Hey boys, you got softball players? Yeah. Wait, do I just bite mm. this or what? That's Thomasville. Got feathers and all. Mm. The feathers are the best part. I like Thomasville. That's one of the biggest producers I got. They're always pr putting on flowers and fruit. Look at it. It's Maybe just loaded. They won't, they won't produce fruit in here because there's no pollinators. Wow. Wow. The thing about Thomasville is they, they always have fruit in, I mean, here's ripe fruit, green fruit, and flowers. All at the same time? All at the same time. So if you guys want a really good, cold, hearty, tough citrus yeah. that tastes yeah. good, it's the closest thing to being edible for the trifoliates, I would say. I like the citron, but that's a little bit sour. That's really sour. But for, like, sweetness, a Thomasville is, is an orange, a citrange crossed with a kumquat. And every now and then you find a true trifoliate leaf. Here's a partial trifoliate leaf. There's another one that's going to have a thumb on them. Uh, occasionally I will find a true truffle. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm I'm very, very excited and kind of glad that I've been able to show you guys this, this citrus variety right here. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is absolutely one of my favorites. I've planted three rows of these guys. This is the Thomasville. Uh, the Thomasville Citrange Quat. And this one's an oldie. This one was an old one created by Swingle. Um, and I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it was, it was about 100 years ago. I think it was 1923, early 20s. And um, this was part of his attempt to increase even more cold hardiness in his newly created trifoliate hybrids. Um, you know, the Citrange was, was cold hardy, and he talked about that in... Uh, um, and, and, and he also mentioned that it got frost damage. Well, you'd get new growth early in the spring and it would, it would die back because you'd have, you know, you know, some, some really early cold weather in the springtime. Um, but he said that the kumquat didn't, didn't have that and it had extra cold hardiness to it. So he thought if he crossed his, his, uh, his, what he was proud of his, his citrange, um, into the kumquat that it would be it would be a great variety and, and even more cold hardy now the citrange is 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 about the same as this um, kumquats are cold hardy in the teens mid-teens um, and the citrange is in the low single digits um, the only way to get any more cold hardy is to go with a uh, citrandarin um, but the Thomasville is known to be cold hardy around five degrees, five, six degrees. And I've even known about it surviving zero degrees with, with damage, but surviving. Uh, but check it out, guys. This is the only way to eat a, a, a Citrange Quad or a Thomasville is when they're lightly green like this. If you can kind of see, it's still got like an orangish yellow flesh to it. And this is one of my favorites. This is one that everybody should have. Um, it's a complex hybrid of trifoliate. It's a complex trifoliate. Um, so you've got 25% trifoliate, 25% uh, orange, and 50% kumquat is, is what makes this. Now, I've had them when they're orange and yellow, and they're not as good. They actually start to get dried out. But if you look right now, when you, if you cut them when they're green, they make a great lime substitute. Look at all that juice. I mean, they're super, 
super juicy and not too sour. Um, they taste like a, a lime with a little bit of an orange mixed in there with it. And I'm going to cut one more for you guys. So you can see the inside. Now these ones are seedless. Usually I'll get one or two seeds in, in, in my Thomasvilles. Um, and what's awesome about these is they're ever bearing guys. They flower and fruit year round. There isn't a specific time you can have fruit all year round with these. And, um, oh yeah. Ooh, I got a seed. Yeah. I got a little seed right there. Fantastic. But yeah, check that out. The Thomasville Citrange Quad. Um, absolutely one of my favorites. This is the only time to be harvesting them um, is when they're a little bit green. And that way you get the good juice. You can see how juicy and shiny it is just by looking at it like that. And oh yeah, it's just, it's dripping. And um, these are somewhat slow growers. Uh, they're, they're bushy. And... Um, They've got really, really dark, shiny leaves. I, I love, I love the Thomasville. Now, uh, the reason I was lucky enough to get them green like this was um, I recently visited uh, Madison Citrus Nursery. They invited me out. Uh, they're they're doing an open to the public um, in the next three weeks. Uh, there's they were strictly an online nursery, but just recently they've decided to be open to the public, and they're going to be offering these guys that you can go in, not have to pay shipping and pick out specifically which trees that you want and uh, the Thomasville even when they're little they've always got little fruits on them even the little trees for sale they've got little fruits on them um, but uh, the he said three weeks um, but I think that the grand opening might be maybe closer to February 1st um, but um, but yeah you guys can go ahead and pick out your own citrus trees at Madison Citrus Nursery and pick through thousands hundreds and hundreds of trees that he's got for sale guys it's just the over 200 and some varieties um for sale i don't know the exact number but um yeah definitely check it out the thomasville um they do offer these for sale um so go ahead and check out madisoncitrusnursery.com they currently have these in stock and <sighs> when you eat them when they're orange and, and yellow they get real dry and they're just you feel like you're missing out on something but that this is it this is what you're missing out on uh they're a little bit too late you got to get them when they're green like a lime like just before like this one right here look at this it's just ready to start turning yellow you can see that and um very 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 unique citrus um a rare cold hardy disease resistant it's got trifoliate in it so it's disease resistant and um very old 100 years ago swingle created this dr swingle look at the little look at the little caps on them like little hats <laughs> i gotta cut i gotta slice this what's wrong with me oh yeah look at that Makes perfect little slices, little lime slices. Look at that. Put that in your drink, huh? Eat that with some tacos. Man, I just, I love the color of these. It's, it's not really yellow. It's like a yellowish with a light orange. And you can, you can see it right there in there and like that. But that's the Thomasville. Hmm. Absolutely amazing. Sour, kind of like a kumquat. They taste similar to a kumquat with a little bit of orange in there. And they make a great lime substitute. And uh, these are cold hardy down to 5 degrees. Um, that's definitely zone 8. That's borderline zone 7. I know zone 7 uh, gets 0 degrees um, on occasion. And that might cause a little bit too much damage for these guys, but definitely zone eight anywhere uh, you can grow. You can grow these, and you can get them online currently at MadisonCitrusNursery.com. I got three rows of these babies. I had high hopes for these. They're slow growers, but I've got three rows of these, and I figured I, I, 
I thought it would be kind of cool to have a lime, a cold hardy lime type growing in North Carolina. It's, you know, it's southern, southern North Carolina. It's close, close to the coast too. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. It's not central. Uh, but you might be able to grow these in central. I think I actually know some people that are growing these in central North Carolina. Oh man, I love it. This is one of my favorites. Definitely get your hands on some of these. Um, if you can't get these, there's another one. Its sister is called the Sinton. S-I-N-T-O-N. The Sinton Citrange Quat. And it it's a little bit more sour than these. But what's cool about it is it has monofoliate leaves. It only has single uh, single leaves. Not the, 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 the try and the buy that the, the Thomasville has. Um, but they're darker orange and they're a little bit smaller than this Thomasville right here. But it's it's it came from the same group. Um, the, 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 some of the first the first crosses by Swingle, the uh, Sinton seeds were just sent to Sinton, and then these were sent to Thomasville. I think it was Thomasville, Georgia, that these were sent to. And um, a good buddy of mine that I met at the expo actually visited uh, one of the original Thomasville trees in Georgia, and uh, that's pretty cool. So. Man, I could talk all day about Thomas Phil. Give me some more of that. One of the OG, one of the OG Tom, uh, cold hardy varieties. Yeah, look at that baby. I love it. It's got green ones, ripe ones. You can just take your pick. Yeah, look at that. There's green ones in there. Orange ones. Actually, I don't think this is one. Is this? It's got, the, yeah. Okay, so this does have, this is a Thomasville because of the neck of it. I almost thought that it wasn't because they're kind of small. So you got an orange one? Yeah, I got an orange one first. It's not bad. Mm -mm. I, I, I love I love Thomas Ford, yeah. Well, you were saying that, so I guess we'll end on one of the ones that's in between. Right there. That's a perfect one. Little green, a little bit of yellow in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Now, try this and tell me what you think compared to the one you just had. It's good. I mean, it's not overly sour. Like, it's pleasant. Yeah. I and mean, it's very much like a lamb. It's more sour than if you let it go orange. Oh, for sure. But I think it's got more flavor in it. More useful. Yeah, you don't... I agree. It definitely has more taste to it. It's nice that you can decide to when you want to use it or use it for much longer since you can pick and green too yeah you got a longer harvest window plus it's ever bearing grab one of the straight green ones funny story about these i'd never had them i was walking through the greenhouse and i was just trying to do some you know let me try some fruit videos yeah so i grabbed one when i opened it or you know bit into it and i couldn't talk because they took too big of a bite but it was one of my new favorite fruits when i tried it like it was really that good of course i went for the orange ones um, so then the next time I went through, I did that with a Sinton uh -huh. and I deleted the video. I had, I couldn't talk. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Now that's, all, that's like identical to line. Yeah. That looks like a straight line. Yep. Green flesh. But yeah, I, I couldn't describe the flavor. I was like, nope, just delete the video. Yeah. They, they taste totally different. Sinton and Thomas Fuck. But even that, I mean, it's more sour than when the orange one, but this in a drink or... Yep. This would still be usable. I eat uh, little shots of tequila. We cook with shrimp. Um, we had uh, shrimp tacos the other day with some Thomas Phil's. Really good. I mean, you couldn't say it's not juicy. Yeah. So Thomas Phil, guys. And uh, Madison Citrus, uh, they've got three varieties of Citrange Quat. Mm -hmm. Thomas Phil, Sinton, and then the other one is just called Citrange Quat. Okay. But the Thomas Phil is a really, really good one. I think it's one of the best ones we have. I, I agree. And it, when it comes to trifoliate hybrids, this is one that you could easily have a couple rows of in your yard and have a really, really nice 
um, citrus harvest every year and you know get the local restaurants and bars and stuff to maybe start buying from you and uh, we eat the heck out these don't last they're so productive i pull the little fruits off i'll pull flowers off i've got little little trees that are just a little stick and they got 10 15 flowers on them oh yeah look at that look how pretty that is and one of these is, I mean, juice-wise, it's enough to do something with. You don't even need to pick a whole bunch of them. Yeah. yeah oh, they're juicy. It has enough juice as what a lemon would have flavor-wise. Sure. Yeah, Thomasville is a really good... And, I mean, it's it's a it's a 50-50 trifoliate that's been crossed back. If we could get more of those where they're not 50-50 trifoliate with all that trifoliate flavor, mm -hmm. and, you know, but they're still 25%. Yeah, so you, you get the benefits without the, the funk. Exactly. You know, you still get the, the cold hardiness. Um, you still get the disease resistance. You know, the skin on that one wasn't too bad. I ate a whole one the other day oh, with the Herschel. ones, I usually eat the skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hard to hate it. I think the green skin's a little too bitter for me. The orange ones aren't too bad. They just sweeten up a little. That's what this one was. Yeah. yeah. Thomasville. Nice big tree right here full of fruit.